The year was 1994, and I was chair of the Election Laws Committee. It was my first chairmanship as a freshman state senator. And uh, during that season, uh, Common Cause, which is a good government organization that uh, operates nationally but also has a very active and strong chapter here in Massachusetts, decided that they wanted to see some campaign finance reform and so they decided to go to the ballot. They filed legislation, but they also decided to go gather signatures to go to the ballot in case the legislature didn't approve the legislation. And um, the, uh, the House chair was a, a now good friend of mine, John McDonough, and uh, John and I said that uh, we felt that the best campaign finance reform legislation would come out of a legislative process where the citizens could be active and in, involved in the discussion, where common cause, the proponents of it could be involved, uh, and the legislators. Uh, because a ballot question, once it gets on the ballot, it's an up or down vote, and it really shouldn't be amended in any significant way by the legislature afterwards. And so we wanted to make sure that we had a good, strong, and fair bill. And so uh, John and I worked with Common Cause and with our colleagues in the legislature and some other folks, uh, other interest groups outside. And we negotiated uh, over about a five-month period, even as they were gathering the signatures to go on the ballot. And we ended up producing what was at the end of the process described by Massburg and Common Cause as, at that time, the toughest state-based regulations and legislation in the country. We went from $1,000 contributions from individuals to legislative candidates down to a maximum of $500. Uh, the same for lobbyists from $1,000 maximum down to $200. We also took the, um, the uh, check off on your uh, state income tax form and we changed it to a withdrawal of a dollar from your taxes uh, as it goes into the general fund rather than you having to add the dollar if you wanted to support the state's campaign finance public funding uh, account which was then distributed to candidates for statewide office uh, through uh, uh, as a result of the uh, money collected in the uh, state income tax. And then uh, we also provided for increased disclosure. We also set up what was known as people PACs which would essentially be considered PACs that uh, groups of individuals rather than lobbyists and interest groups could organize and mainly uh, organized labor could, could uh, use this mechanism to take large numbers of people taking small contributions and be able to pass those on uh, as contributions to legislators to try to equalize the power that small donors would have over large donors. So uh, campaign finance reform continues to be uh, a concern uh, throughout the country and here in Massachusetts. In fact, there was another chapter a few years later where a ballot question for public funding for candidates for the legislature and for the uh, uh, statewide offices uh, was put into effect. And uh, unfortunately, over time, we were not able to agree on the amendments that were necessary to work out some of the technical problems. And so eventually, that question uh, was just simply set aside and was not implemented. But the uh, strong uh, campaign finance laws that were adopted in 1994 as a result of the efforts that John McDonough and I made in negotiating with Common Cause uh, are still in effect and a few of them have been even strengthened in the last three few years as a result of uh, some problems that we've identified. And so in Massachusetts we have among the strictest campaign finance laws in the country.